Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn everything about HTTP client. It's very, very important because if you are working with Angular applications, chances are that you would have to integrate that with the backend APIs. HTTP client allows us that communication between the front-end application and the backend APIs. You will learn what is HTTP client, what are the different types of HTTP methods and much, much more in this episode. Let's get started. This is part 73 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. I have planned around 100 tutorials for you in this series. Right now we are on 73rd episode. I hope um, you're following along the series. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. So these are the topics that I've already covered from ground zero, from scratch, um, to a lot of detailed advanced use cases covering all aspects of Angular in detail for you. So make sure that you go through them and ask me if you have any doubts or queries. I'm always here to help you. All right, so let's talk about Angular HTTP client. Now, Angular has this built-in module, which is HTTP client module, which has this HTTP client, which is part of the Angular common HTTP, which is used for performing all the HTTP requests and responses. What is a request? What is a response? When we make a request, which is a HTTP call to backend API or a REST endpoint, that's your request. The data that we get back is the response from that we receive from the API. The HTTP client service is available in Angular common HTTP package. The new HTTP client service, which is included in the HTTP client module, right? So that is used to initiate the HTTP request and process the responses, not process exactly to receive the response. For that, we need to include or import the HTTP client module in the app module, right? So once we do that, then we can make the HTTP calls. HTTP client is required in every uh, component wherever you are making that call, HTTP call basically. HTTP client also has a lot of other utilities like params, interceptors, headers, etc. through which you can easily manage, send data and a lot of other important information that's mostly required by most APIs. We will learn all about that as well, so stay tuned. All right, so let's, before we jump into HTTP client, let's learn some basic fundamentals because without which anything that I teach will may sound little um, over the head and over the top for you. So let's cover some basic ground. Standard HTTP methods, right? So these are the standard HTTP methods that we can work with. These are standard for everybody and all languages. Whenever we do the communication, that is the TCP protocol, right? HTTP protocol, TCP protocol. We use these HTTP methods usually. Get, get means we are requesting the resource from the API. Post, that means we are trying to send the data to the API. Put, that means we are trying to update an existing resource. Delete, obviously it makes sense. It's a delete, right? So delete a resource by sending that information to the API. Head, JSON P, options, patch. These are different options that are available that we can use, which are configured as HTTP methods uh, when we send the data to the backend. But mostly that you would find yourself using get, post, put, delete okay all right so now let's little bit overview again on what are the benefits right so you know that i've been telling that angular framework is written in it has a lot of observables right uh, like if you talk about router if you talk about form similarly http includes observable apis right so http client can have the http headers in options we can pass headers as through HTTP client. HTTP client provides us highly testability features. That means if you're trying to simulate, write your unit test, we have mock uh, classes which we can use for testing. HTTP clients include typed request. Now this is another beautiful thing. 
which is you can specify the type or the interface basically model that you want to work with. HTTP client includes response objects. So obviously HTTP client will when we get response, we get the response objects. We the most beautiful thing and most my favorite one is the HTTP client interception, which is interceptors basically like for example, authentication, token management, etc. can be done right in the interceptor. So you don't have to do for individual calls. I will show you that also as we progress along in the series. Finally, HTTP client is used for common error handling, right? So whenever we make this uh, calls, um, it's mostly that you don't have to write individually error logging. We can write just one single um, error handling and that would be done for all the interfaces that are sent through HTTP client. All right, so what are the standard operations that we are going to do or any application requires? It requires four standard things which are called CRUD operations. Now what are CRUD operations? Create, right? Usually it would be a post method. Read, update and delete. These are the four things that you can relate to. If you have to talk about the CRUD operations, so some of the important things that you should know about HTTP client things are number one, uh, this HTTP client module is used for communicating, communicating between front end app and back end APIs. Okay, so when I say backend APIs or REST endpoints, they are same. Okay, don't get confused. Some people call it APIs, some call it um, REST endpoints, which basically are the APIs that we work with. Now, to use this, we need to import HTTP client module, HTTP client, we need to import the HTTP client module in our app module. We need to inject HTTP client in components slash services. It would mostly be in services. Trust me, like we just learned it in the last episode uh, where we talked about creating a service. It's mostly done through services. You can do it in components, but it's mostly done in services. Okay. Inject the HT instance and create its instance in constructor. Okay, so once this is done, mostly CRUD operations like create new customer, edit customer, right? So these are all examples of create, read, read customer, view customer, right, uh, etc. So mostly it's CRUD. Now HTTP methods that are usually used post get put delete right now remember these are very very important because from understanding purpose you should be very clear of what all you can do with HTTP client right so HTTP client allows us for provision for sending configuring configuring the headers that are sent right now my favorite HTTP client is has interceptors helps in interceptors okay helps in creating interceptors for api request http client can be used for common error handling we will learn all of this in detail with a lot of use cases but understanding is the very first part right so Today what we are going to do is learn how to use HTTP client and how to import the HTTP client module. So go to your app module, that's your main module, go to your app module and what you have to do is import the HTTP client module. If you don't know the module name, that's fine. What you should do is usually something like this, angular slash common slash HTTP. And now when you start typing, you would see that automatically coming here, HTTP client module. Okay, that's a shortcut I prefer. Alrighty, and then import it into the list of arrays here. So what you're telling now 
is that you are you are telling the angular application that i need the http client module because i want to work with the apis once you have done this go to the service wherever you want to work with in the last episode we created this service which is user service in this you would import again from angular slash common slash http and you would include something a package http client okay you'll include the http client class and then inject it into the constructor and we will make an instance of it usually that i've seen we give http for this so this is how you create a instance of this class http client and create an instance of it and whenever you want to make a request or anything we will use this instance now you will see get post put po all this are the http methods which are implemented in this particular class which is http right so those are the things that we will start with so this is just the introduction just to show you how it works but in the next video we will start implementing each one of them in detail and we will start learning how to configure the params how we will learn how to configure the interceptors we will learn how to configure the headers right so today's episode the takeaway is we learned about the http client we learned how to import the http client module we have injected the uh, http client imported it not injected let's call it imported here we learned to import the http client class and then we created an instance instance of it we learned about the crud operations different types of crud operations different types of http methods and also using what all http client provides us to use right so that's enough uh, for today that will that should bring you up to the speed so that in the next episode we will start coding and writing implementing the code of http get we'll start with the get method we will i will show you how you can use different apis if you want to work with uh, very interesting so stay tuned for that See, join me in the next episode if you like my work please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com/arctutorials thank you so much again see you in the next episode